A pointer is a variable that contains the memory address of another variable, called the pointee. Pointers are declared as any other variable, except that they have an asterisk placed between the data type and the pointer's name. The data type used determines what type of memory it will point to. A pointer can point to a variable of the same type by prefixing that variable with an ampersand, in order to retrieve its address and assign it to the pointer. The ampersand is known as the address of operator. The pointer here now contains the memory address to the integer variable. Referencing the pointer will retrieve this address. To obtain the actual value stored in that address, the pointer must be prefixed with an asterisk, known as the dereference operator. When writing to the pointer, the same method is used. Without the asterisk the pointer is assigned a new memory address, and with the asterisk the actual value of the variable pointed to will be updated. If a second pointer is created, and assigned the value of the first pointer, it will then get a copy of the first pointer's memory address. A pointer can also point to another pointer. This is done by declaring a pointer with two asterisks, and then assigning it the address of the pointer that it will reference. This way when the address stored in the first pointer changes, the second pointer can follow that change. Referencing the second pointer now gives the address of the first pointer. Dereferencing the second pointer gives the address of the variable, and dereferencing it again, gives the value of the variable. One of the main usages of pointers is to allocate memory during runtime, so called dynamic allocation. In the examples so far, the programs have only had as much memory available as has been declared for the variables at compiled time. This is referred to as static allocation. If any additional memory is needed at runtime, the new operator has to be used. This operator allows for dynamic allocation of memory, which could only be accessed through pointers. The new operator takes either a primitive data type, or an object as its argument, and it will return a pointer to the allocated memory. An important thing to know about dynamic allocation, is that the allocated memory will not be released like the rest of the program memory when it is no longer required. Instead, it has to be manually released with the delete keyword. This allows you to control the lifetime of a dynamically allocated object, but it also means that you are responsible for deleting it once it is no longer needed. Forgetting to delete memory that has been allocated with the new keyword will give the program memory leaks, because that memory will stay allocated until the program shuts down. A pointer should be set to zero when it is not assigned to a valid address. Such a pointer is called a null pointer. Doing this will allow you to check whether the pointer can be safely dereferenced, because a valid pointer will never be zero. Note that trying to delete an already deleted null pointer is safe. However, if the pointer has not been set to zero, Attempting to delete it again may cause memory corruption and possibly crash the program. The same occurs if we try to dereference a pointer that has had its memory released. For this reason it's important to set pointers to zero when their memory is released, and to check for this value before attempting to dereference them, since you may not always know whether a pointer is valid at any one point in the program. The constant null can also be used to signify a null pointer. Null is typically defined as zero in C++, making the choice of which to use a matter of preference. The constant is included through IO stream.